just like Jesus Christ that rose from the dead after three days, so did Denmark rise from the dead after three games in Group B of the UEFA Euros Championship. Welcome, this is the arena. Let's talk about stories emanating from the world of sports. Talk about the UEFA Euros Championship currently ongoing and how teams are now progressing from the group stage of that competition until the next stage of the competition. There are still um, some other things that is not football we would be talking about. Um, talk about the one that is going on right here in Nigeria, the preparations for uh, the Olympics, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics expected to be coming up in less than a month. Yes, badminton, athletics, basketball, the D-Tigers, um, naming a 49-man list. Lots and lots of things to talk about on the show today we would not also be leaving out um copa america and three games played so far for some teams uh, we would take a look at that one too it's gonna be a wonderful wonderful show to talk about big big stories uh, all around um the world of sports i'll be your host on today's show and i hope that you just stick around as we talk about the stories my name is jidechi chidiezie see you after the break Market, we can go buy fresh pound foods. When you reach out, you go wash, you go pound, your body gonna pay you, even your fingernails gonna pay you. But make gonna no worry, make gonna relax. I get good news for now. When I don't hear Banga fresh pound food extracts, all you need to do now make you go for the up, open now. Take the amount where you want, put that for your pot. Push soup you want to make. She na wussy. She na bono. She na vegetable. She na banga. Ah uh ah. -uh. My sister no waste time again. My brother no waste time again. Just go buy banga fresh pan fruit extract. The woman will say you sabi cook and you be better cook. Banga. Go make your food in yum yum. Distributors needed nationwide. Phone number 081-6397447. 080-35-64-4436-070-66-6382-13 Banga Fresh Pam Fruit Swift Dry Cleaners Limited Professional Dry Cleaners Best in dry cleaning and laundry services That meets the needs of our consumers Yeah, Swift Dry Cleaners Limited Swift Dry Cleaners and quick delivery yeah with dry cleaners to me swift dry cleaners clean wash Welcome back. This is the arena. Yes, let's talk about stories emanating from the world of sports. Joining me on the show today to dissect um, the issues uh, that we have on the show today is none other than a wonderful sports analyst in the house, uh, Awal Uwulabi. Awal, uh, nice having you in the studio with nice me. Nice having you too. Yeah, uh, lots and lots of things going on in the world of sports as we speak. Uh, let's start off with athletics and talk about uh, the one, the preparations for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Uh, the president of the federation, he's the former president, president of the federation actually, uh, in the person of Solomon Oba. He's saying uh, there's yet another chance for the athletes who could not qualify for the Olympics, that's the relay team, the Nigerian relay team. Um, another chance for them, those that couldn't get um, their shot at the Yaba College of Technology. Good one, you would say. Yeah, it is a very good one actually. When someone feels have to give them another chance. Mm. So as it is, the former president of the Nigerian Athletics, he said there is another chance for them to qualify. And as it stands, there is really another chance for them. But it depends on their performance. So they have to up their game in the qualifiers to know if they are all capable to represent Nigeria in the Olympics that is set to take off very soon this month. Mm. Uh, uh, he says um, four out of the five relay teams, uh, they are hoping to represent Nigeria uh, if, they, if they can get a chance. And we saw only the, um, the women's 4x100 mm -hmm. team, that's the, the team that Okabari was a part of. Um, they were the only ones who could get 
that slot at Yaba College of Technology. Um, does this mean our teams are not good enough or the fact they couldn't get to the team? No, no, it doesn't that. mean the, our teams, the teams are not good enough. Just mean they have to work, they have to put more effort because every country wants to participate in the in the Olympics. You get the point. So they have to work up their game and participate so that they what they have to go Do better. So it's yeah. all about um, bringing up, um, coming up to speed with yeah, the yeah. next. But as it stands, as it stands, the men are what, they are likely to qualify. They are very like very much likely to qualify. But it depends on the other, the mixed teams and the 4x400 four meters. Those ones are very, very difficult based on the opponents and based on the table they are in. They are in the like 16th position or something like that. So they have to, they have to give much effort. Well, hopefully they will qualify. Hopefully. Mm. Let's talk about the team that didn't find it difficult to qualify. Uh, a team that has the likes of Toby Amuso, Blessing Okabari. Uh, 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 lots and lots of wonderful racers and uh, woke culture making that team. Uh, do we fancy a shot at the relays in the Olympics this year, later this year? Do we fancy a shot having these four best um, runners in the country and some of the best runners in the world too? We saw how Kabari uh, ended up as one of the fast, has the, currently has the um, best um, lead for the year 2021. And uh, do we actually see them? Do, we, do they fancy a chance of getting an Olympic? Yeah. Every team that participates in the Olympics f have a chance to win, to win at least a medal. Mm. So the Nigerian, the Nigerian athletic team has a very good edge ahead of every other team based on the fact that they are being coached by people who have done very much better in the field before. Mm. Okay, now let's move on and talk about something else of interest to us. As Nigerians, let's talk about still on Olympic matters, uh, basketball, and we hear that Opeyori and of course um, Opeyori and uh, the other man, baseball, but ba badminton, badminton actually, badminton, badminton. badminton. Uh, Opeyori and Olufuwa have qualified for the Olympics, and it's a good one. They qualified the doubles event. Uh, for Nigerians, it's it's nice having some of the best players in badminton. The best player in Nigeria. The best player in Nigeria, fe yes. um, featuring for Nigeria on the world stage. It is a very very good development for the Nigerian sports team. Having someone of that caliber, of his techniques and every other thing in the sport, it is a very good news for us. Hopefully, they will win a medal at the Olympics. Mm, a medal at the Olympics. Uh, let's, uh, badminton is not something. Uh, Nigerians, uh, it's not really, a Nigerian. It's not, you will not call game. it something that is really game. a Nigerian game. Uh, but we've seen, we've seen what these lads have been able to do, how far they've come. Uh, do you actually think um, this could be a time that we should start looking at uh, sports like badminton? Uh, look at the grassroots, see how we can get more better players than even the big names that we are seeing right now. The problem is that in Nigeria we focus too much on a particular aspect. Mm. Just like the politicians focus on the oil sector and every other thing, Nigerians are focused on soccer. If the sports teams can, work, can try as much as possible to go to the grassroots, we have a lot of people, a lot of players that are willing to play for Nigeria and are very, very good in these sports. Hopefully, they'll be able to get some better players that will represent Nigeria in the future competitions. Mm. Uh, uh, talking about the, the individual brilliance of, of Olofua and Opeyori, uh, do, 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 do these athletes actually stand a chance at the Olympics? Do it, you actually see them stand It the depends chance? on their opponents. It mm. depends on their opponents. But we'll keep praying for them and hopefully they won't disappoint us. <laughs> <That's just it. laughs> he says pray. Okay, I guess prayer has to be part of um, the ingredients for these athletes to yeah. get... Uh, I mean, we are religious. We definitely have to pray for them. Uh, let's move on and talk about still on badminton, how the Japanese uh, embassy led by the Japanese ambassador to Nigeria has donated a couple of rackets to the Badminton Federation of Nigeria ahead of the Olympics. It's a good one we're hearing. Uh, the BFN uh, getting some boost and it's nice considering we've already talked about Olufua and uh, the other man, Opeyori. Uh, day two, uh, I know Olua or Opeyori, uh, day two getting a chance to have this uh, same sort of boost as they head to the Olympics later next year. Now, let me quickly uh, uh, ask the man with me, uh, um, Awal, if it's something that could be a major, uh, say, a major 
part of the success of the Nigerians in the fact that we are getting this kind of boost from the host nation, an ambassador from the host nation of the Olympics. We are getting this kind of boost from them. It is a nice gesture from the Japanese, actually. So training with a very nice, very nice equipment or tools, it will enable the players to, to have the what, efficiency, to develop the efficiency. You know, in Nigeria, we have a lot of problems and all that. So training with all this kind of equipment, we aid their participation in the Olympics, hopefully. Mm. It's a very, very good gesture, uh, gesture by the Japanese embassy right here in Nigeria. Now let's move on, still again on Olympics. Talk about basketball, yes. It's all about the preparations for the Summer Olympic Games that will be beginning less than a month from now. That's why it li it's like everything we talk about these days is about Olympics, yes. We want to really see the Nigerian team. Team Nigeria, do us proud and get a couple of golds, uh, a couple of silver medals and a couple of bronze medals. Now the D-Tigers are in the news and it's all about Coach Mike Brown who has named his 49-man squad um, that would be heading to the Olympics. It would not be the entire squad that would be heading to the Olympics. Uh, but we get to hear that lots and lots of the players that are named in that squad will be making the final list. It's really, really, really a very long list, as you can see on your screen right now. Long, lots and lots of players um, on that one. The likes of Ike Rebu, who you very well know about. Um, he's on that one. Uh, lots and lots of Nigerian players. Ike Diogo, uh, uh, Alba, uh, even Zaid has Lots and lots of wonderful players who play in some of the biggest leagues all around the world. And we also see some names uh, of new invitees, Monty Morris, who plays currently for Denver Nuggets, um, Mie Ube, oh, um, on me, who plays for Uta Jazz. There's also Udoka Azubike, also with Uta Jazz, and some returning NBA invitees, the likes of Jordan Wara, who we've not seen play for the D-Tigers in a long while. Um, let's talk about the D-Tigers uh, a while. The best team in Africa, you would definitely call them because that's what they are. And uh, it's it's interesting to see three Olympics in a row. Uh, this the Tigers team have qualified for three Olympics in a row going when, into this one. When you critically look at the long list released by the D Tigers, you see that Nigeria has a lot of talented basketballers that applied their trade home and abroad. When you have it look, you see that every of these players, majority of them, rather, majority of them have won at least a medal in their club team. So this player coming together will help the Nigeria national team to, uh, to go far in the Olympics, as well as claiming maybe the gold, silver or bronze medal. Mm. And, and, and there's also a friendly game that, because they are currently camps in the United yes. States, a friendly game with the U.S. is expected to be going on later in July. It's a good one. It's a good one. The fact that we are taking on big teams going into the Olympics. It is very, very good for the team. Very, very good for the team. Mm. Very, very good for the team. He says, well, uh, it's all about the Olympics. Like I say, lots and lots of federations preparing um, for that one. Sadly, there is no Nigerian team that will be featuring at the Olympics in uh, the football category, the men and women's team both failed to qualify. Uh, but we would be looking out for medals in other events. Basketball is there to watch. Um, lots and lots of athletics. Uh, many of our athletes are going for that one from the athletic scene. Uh, there are lots and lots of wrestlers that will also be going to the World Cup. Table tennis, Aruna Quadri. Many names going to the World Cup. I guess there's lots and lots of things um, to look out for when the Olympics come calling. Now, when we get back from this break, we'll take a look at the Nigeria Professional Football League, one game on the card today, yes, the Abia Debe. We will be taking a look at that one and, of course, talk about the one that is currently ongoing in Europe, talk about the Euros Championship. Let me leave you with this one from Serena Williams, and when we get back from the break, we'll continue the rest of the show. Game. Okay, this game is called the Forehand Cracker. Can you say the Forehand Cracker? Yeah. Yummy, yeah, exactly. So how many crackers do you want? Five. Five crackers? Okay. So we're gonna hit a forehand here. Okay, ready? And then when you're done, you sprint to the next one, okay? 
go. Run, 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 run. Okay. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. Yay! Let's do that again. Let's do that again. That was five crackers. High five. <laughs> okay, let's pretend these are cupcakes. Yeah. What flavor? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, cool. Strawberry and blueberry cupcakes. And you're gonna smash the cupcakes. Okay, cupcake. Okay. Come on, come, come on, cupcake. Come on, run, 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 cupcake. Cupcake, come on, final cupcake. Yeah, baby shump, yo, baby shump. Most people don't understand the magic of the perfect skin. The allure of the well-pampered skin. We bounce from skincare products to skincare products. From spa to spa. Looking for that ideal solution. I found the solution. And it's Blemiviv Skin Care and Spa. My name is Neil, and I'm proud to be a part of the Blemiviv family. Swift Dry Cleaners Limited. Professional dry cleaners, best in dry cleaning and laundry services, and meets the needs of our consumers. Yeah, Swift Dry Cleaners Limited. Swift Dry Cleaners Limited. Swift Dry Cleaners Limited. Yeah, for clean wash and quick delivery. Yeah. Swift Dry Cleaners. Clean wash. Welcome back. This is the arena. Let's talk about stories emanating from the world of sports. Well, I guess it's what we've been doing all along on the show today. And it's not just with me talking about the stories. Alongside me has been um, none other than Obeyemi Lawal. Owolabi Lawal. Owolabi Lawal. Okay, Awal. Uh, now, uh, sorry for that uh, mistake. And now let's move on with the NPFL. Talk about some football. Uh, just one game on the cards for today, and it's the rescheduled fixture between Abia Warriors and Aimba. But when you take a look at the table um, right now, you would see how the table is looking yeah, as it okay. stands. Um, Aqua United is still at the top of that one. Yes, they are sitting comfortably with 53 points. And then um, from that down to sixth position, you can see where Aimba are um, being on the table right now. But they have a chance to change their position on the table if they can win Aqua United, Abia Warriors, and then go on their second outstanding fixture against Quara United. Uh, 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 well, let me ask you, 
Eimba, two outstanding games and a chance to go second, just two points between them and Aqua United. Is this something you think they can actually do? Is this something you feel that would happen? In football, anything can happen, actually. Mm -hmm. But I think they have the capability to win both outstandings. If they can be motivated enough to win both games, then they will go second in the league. So it will make the competition a little bit harder for and, Aqua and, United. And do you actually think they can give Aqua United that chase that the, uh, the so many it, people have failed to so, give them? So it won't be a one man's race, actually. Mm. So they have to at least summon their courage to, uh, to win both outstandings. But this is the Abia Derby, and we see how Abia Warriors can match always be stubborn. Just like what we saw in the last game with uh, Kano Pillars and Jigawa United. You can see they tried as much as possible, but they were unable to at least draw the game, So which puts them down in the league race. Mm. So same thing may happen to uh, the... Yimba Football Club too, but I hopefully think they can win the match. Mm. Oh, they can win that one. Well, let's talk about the people who are winning their own and talk about the Euros Championship. Yes, lots and lots of wins in that one. Defeats also in that one. And uh, some are already out of a competition. Let's start off with Denmark, who did so well a couple of days ago. Wonderful 4-1 victory um, over their opponents in that one. Let me run you through the fixtures. Uh, the results actually from the recently concluded games uh, at the Euros Championship. Uh, start off with the ones that went down on Monday. Yes, you can see Ukraine and Austria. Uh, Austria winning that one to keep their slot in the championship. And Netherlands knocking out North Macedonia. Finally, uh, who, are make, who we are just making their maiden uh, appearance yeah. in the competition. And you, you can see interesting, interesting one. From Denmark, they rose from the dead to do it over Russia. Four goals to one. It needed they needed to uh, win their game to ensure they stayed back in the competition, and they did so. From fourth position, they ended up qualifying from their group as second position. We'll be taking a look at that group quickly, and uh, you can see the one between Finland and Belgium. Lukaku scoring in that one. Yesterday we saw Croatia. And Scotland and England looks like football might just be coming home. 1-0 um, winners over Czech Republic. Later today will be the final round of group games. Uh, we would be seeing Sweden and Poland, Slovakia and Spain, Portugal and France has to be the big one of tonight. And then Germany and Hungary. Quickly, let's talk about the group um, the group stages. Um, a while. Let's start off. Let's take a look at that group C, group B actually where Denmark were able to finish uh, second position. They came up, uh, they, they, no point so far, we know how the story of Christian Eriksen uh, marred their, uh, their tournament so far. And they were able, three points between them and the fourth position, everybody having three points, and Denmark are shooting the next round. It was a wonderful performance from the Denmark team. A very yeah. wonderful, wonderful performance from them. You know, they need to score a lot of goals to at least be in the second position, even if they are going to win the match. And, and they, they have just that. they have Belgium to thank also. Because if Belgium had allowed Finland to at least draw the match, then it won't be the same story we are seeing right now. Mm, then um, Belgium has already qualified for the game, mm -hmm. so they have the option to rest their players. But the coach did just exactly um, the exact opposite rather. Of what? So of he lined up his words, his first team, and he got the much needed, much needed result. He needed the first position. That yeah. um, let's take a look at Group D, another team that finished uh, first position. Talk about England. Uh, they were second in this. They were second in this one, and uh, we know how Scotland made them not get that nine points that they've loved to get. But England having a wonderful record so far. Uh, talk about goals and um, goals considered. Uh, they've not considered anything. It's been one zero all the way. And does this look like they will take it through to the final stages of the competition? According to what a lot of football analysts have been saying, and based on my own opinion as well, I don't think England can make it far out of the round of system because they have been playing a very defensive game. And for somebody to win this competition, you have you need attacking fluidity. Mm. They've played, they've scored two goals just far in the tournament. If they were in another group that has a lot of attacking talents, I don't think they would be top of the table. Uh, and quickly talking about uh, a team that are not top of the table right now. Moving on to Group E, we have Spain 
currently third position in their group. Um, and at this stage of the competition, if they're expecting Spain would have been on yet another position. Uh, they take on uh, Slovakia later tonight. Slovakia second on that table. And uh, uh, do you actually see Spain making it out from this group? Definitely. You they think have they the, would win the game? Yeah, yeah. I, something tells me they are going to win the match. They need to win and they have to win. Mm, they have to win. Okay, talking about Group F now and talking about those who have to win. Portugal currently fourth, third on the group. Hungary fourth in that group. Germany first in this group. And France are... Germany second and France are first in this group. And the way it is looking, everybody would have to win for them to ensure qualification onto the next round of this competition. Um, France and Portugal, Germany and Hungary. How do you see this group falling? The group is really the group of death, mm. actually. I think France versus Portugal is going to be the highlight of the match, of the group, mm. rather. Because France needs at least a point, and Portugal must at least win the match. So France will be going all out to win the match because they don't know what is going to happen between In Germany and and Germany too have to win the match so that they will top the group. So right now, we don't even know who is going to who top the group top at the, the group. end of the game. Mm, very interesting group um, right now. And you can see the round of 16 fixtures, uh, the way it's looking. Wales will be taking on Denmark. That one is already certified. Uh, the one between Italy and Austria is also certified. The Netherlands would be waiting for the third position team. You know, there will be four third best teams qualifying from that one. And it will be the third position team from Group D. E or F, that could be also Portugal's group. And then you also have Belgium waiting for the third place team in group A, D, E or F. Croatia also waiting for their opponents and that would have to be the second place team in group E and the other game would be the winner of group F taking on the third place team in group A, B or C. England also waiting for their opponents and it would be anyone that finishes as second in that group of deaths um, that we just talked about. And our uh, Group E winner for tonight would be taking on the third place team in Group A, B, C, or D. That's how it's going to be looking in the round of 16 of the UEFA Euros Championship. Very, very tight one, I would say. Uh, lots and lots of interesting games expected to go down this night. Also, there's Copa America excitement for you. Uh, for those of you who have been following, yes, Lionel Messi and Argentina have been doing some wonderful things. Brazil, on the other side, are topping their own group. Lots and lots of um, drama happening right now on the international stage. I know right now we cannot wait um, for the ones that will be going down this night in the UEFA Euros Championship. Um, oh, hey, Amy, uh, let me end it on A this note. And while uh, let me end it on this note, maybe we also need to give you a third name called of uh, uh, And while the game's going down tonight, uh, you talked about how Portugal and France has to be the highlight of tonight. Um, now in final words, what would be your scoreline for this game tonight? Uh, final word between Portugal and France. And France. I think a 2-1 or 3-1. 2-1 or 3-1 to win France. Yeah. Okay, 2-1 um, or 3-1, he says. Well, I think I'll save my prediction for some time later. When we get back, we'll take a look at how this one's found out. Yes, it's the moment of footballing excitement right here on the international scene. And it's been a wonderful time on the show doing this with you. Who has been locked onto the screen um, as we talked about the stories emanating from the world of sports, even emanating from the Euros Championship. It's been a wonderful time, like I said, and it's been wonderful having you on the show with us today. Uh, hopefully we get to do and uh, while we get to do this some other time. No problem. Yes, uh, it's been, been splendid pleasure. doing this with you. And we, for you, hopefully we'll get to do this also some other time. Yes, there's also Friday to look out for. My name is Jidechi Chidezi. Until next time I come your way, stay safe.